All right, let's head out into the newsroom. That's where we find Charles and our special guest, Toby Lawrence, today. All right, thank you very much. This is Toby Lawrence. He's here from uh, Missouri Western State University Cinema. First thing I want to talk about, Toby, uh, and we'll get to the department things later, but the Griffin Film Festival uh, just happened within the last uh, couple weeks. Tell us about that and its importance for the students and for the community. Uh, so yeah, we just had our uh, eighth annual uh, Griffin Film Festival. Uh, and so this is the second year now we've uh, were able to have it down at the Missouri Western Theater, which is uh, obviously historic. It's a beautiful place. And uh, they told me that the turnout this time was uh, was better than last year. So I'm like, all right, we're moving in the right direction. Uh, but this has been a really great opportunity for uh, our students to get out into the community and uh, uh, connect with the community further because, uh, as you probably know, uh, Missouri Western is the applied learning destination school for the state of Missouri. So we like we feel that everything we're doing is we're getting them out there doing commercial work, PSAs, everything else under the sun, and, and getting out of the community and making work. So that's um, good. Yeah, we'll talk about that if you would for a moment uh, before that, and I d about the applied learning. So uh, the students the students are attracted to the cinema department because they are able to kind of get out in the community work maybe do some work for businesses and things like that, sure. do commercial things. Talk about that for a second. Uh, well, so interestingly enough, we just had a, this uh, this spring, we just had um, another run of our commercial production class uh, where the students go out and they create, uh, in teams, they create a commercial and they also create a PSA. Uh, typically, well, it's, it's local. Like they, you know, uh, went to Toe Beans Coffee and uh, um, Alchemy Tea and they did commercials for them, which we then also, screened in between our you know in between the films gotcha. uh, the thesis films here so you know the, the, gr the film festival itself really is an opportunity for you know all of our senior thesis students who are getting ready to you know, get out into the community and show their here's their culmination of all their work and then we put all the PSAs and commercials in between that's so. great now we just showed a clip while you were talking there the of I think it was mr. mummy is that that's the right one we showed? that's right uh, you talk about that one talk about uh, you know a little bit more about uh, the uh, the importance of, of this festival yeah so uh, mr. mummy was uh, done by one of our students Jackson Hughes uh, real bright star uh, it, in fact all the films are amazing uh, but that one in particular did uh, did really well and swept a lot of awards. Um, and you can tell from the you know they just all the students put in so much work on all the films. It's just it's it's amazing. So it's it's the festival is really an opportunity for them to shine and show their show their best work and um, interface with the community. And hopefully we continue to attract um, you know outside folks that aren't just because we used to be isolated. The, the festival was isolated up at the university, but now that um, we are trying to you know, make this out in the community, I think gives an opportunity for, for local folks to go, hey, I'd love to have that student come work on a project for me. Or right, so right. Now, and who judges these? Or is it, I'm, it's a secret panel, yeah. Okay. We actually, <laughs> every year, like I have a list of names of people all across the country, and uh, we send out a, hey, do you have time? Can you watch these films? And if you can, here's the, here's the judging ballot. So they do that. So um, that's calculated and tallied. And then we know going into the festival, um, all the awards except for the audience choice, which is uh, happens right there in the, at the festival. They we uh, pass out slips and they poke a hole and put it in the box, and then we tally all those up and, and we announce that we have our awards section of the portion of the, the night. And you have a poster here. Yeah, we brought you we brought oh, you nice. a poster. So very nice. Here it is, the Griffin Film Festival. Wow. See, I'm, yeah, so guys, <laughs> I'm keeping this by the way. Just yeah. To tell the director. So there you go. Merry, Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Christmas and, came early. and then you have uh, a, a <laughs> Another event uh, called Old St. Joseph. It's actually a project, Old St. Joe. Uh -huh. Talk about that a little bit, and, and how does that work with yeah. this department? Little stickers. Yeah, for yeah. There. very good, <laughs> very good. Get this with all the socials and stuff. So, Perfect, yeah. Old St. Joe, uh, you can see it here. We've been uh, for a couple of years now. The students, we've uh, during the summers and any other times we have opportunity throughout the year, we go into the community. We've done uh, like have a cup of Joe with Old St. Joe down at McCoska Coffee, great place. Mm -hmm. uh, and we bring in guests from the from the community that like maybe have some fun thing to uh, to highlight. Like we had uh, Cole Woodbury was on uh, c two years ago, we had him in. And uh, he, had a, he has an amazing postcard collection for those that don't know. Uh, so we were able to do a multi-cam live stream setup at McCoska and show all of this stuff. So that, and we've also been working on, a, on uh, towards a feature length documentary about about St. Joe, about the history of St. Joe. So we've been, it's still in the works. It's it's uh, on the back, not on the back burner, but it's 
it's a lot of work, so we're, sure. we're working on that. But doing little little different things all the time when we can. That's so. great, Toby. Well, before we go, tell us about your interest in your background a little bit. How you got interested in in what you do in filmmaking and in teaching filmmaking? Right. What, where did that come from? Um, so, I mean, I've, obviously, since I was a kid, I've always been interested in films. Uh, just voracious appetite. I watch as many as I can uh, all the time. I'm always watching films, uh, media, etc. Now, obviously, there's episodic shows, and sure. there's just so much out there. Um, but I would say uh, uh, somewhere in my late 20s, I, before that, I was in a in a band. We were on a major label called Epic Records. Mm -hmm. We did Lollapalooza, all that oh, fun sure. stuff. I call that my past life yeah, that's nice. <laughs> when I was a musician. But that led me to, I was still like, I knew, I always knew I would go back to school, and so I was, uh, uh, I went back to school later than most, uh, you know, I started later. Um, got my degree at University of Missouri, Kansas City, uh, and then I went out to CalArts, uh, California Institute of the Arts, where I got my MFA in film directing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I've always, I've, you know, had a passion for it. I've been doing it for a long time now. Uh, been in the industry basically since I was like 18 or 19 years old. So oh, sure. music and then now film, um, I, uh, was out in LA and I was working with, uh, had done some work with uh, Monty Hellman, who was my mentor. He was an executive producer for Reservoir Dogs and uh, did some work there. But then I was like, you know, I need, I need a little something more and I need to be able to have a little more breathing room to do some of my own work. So I uh, ended up moving up to Sacramento, had a lot of friends in, in the Bay and in, in San Francisco area. So that's where I started teaching at the Art Institute out there in Sacramento State University and oh, nice. got the bug for it and was there like, it. oh, I love what I'm doing. And so now here we are. I'm heading into my 13th year of teaching. Wow. I've been at Missouri Western for six years. That's great. Going into my, uh, be going into my seventh this year. Wow. So. And people, I don't think, maybe, people may not realize that you, how, about how many students you have in that cinema program now. Yeah, I mean, it's growing. When I got here, I think we had somewhere in the neighborhood of 35. I could be wrong on the numbers, but uh, I know that we've grown and we're getting 45, 40 to 45, something like that. Uh, and currently with only two instructors. So, I mean, I think we're handling it pretty well. It's, it's like oh, yeah, splitting it's up duties challenge. and stuff. So, it's, oh, yeah, it's great. a lot of fun. Well, we look forward to the documentary and more things to come and, and uh, next year's film festival as well. Uh, Toby Lawrence has been our guest here on Community Conversations. He's from uh, uh, Missouri Western State University. And we're going to have an entertainment section coming up after the break. Thanks. <laughs>